shoulder surgery uh, with the beach chair setup and beach chair device. Uh, table is reversed. We now have the normal, what would be the normal head section of the base, head area of the base facing in the foot direction and the normal foot direction in the, under the, the head area. Reason being, just want to clear the space. You can actually do it either way. I personally like to clear the space for the surgeon, less table underneath the shoulder area where we're going to be working. Again, one arm board on the table, a planing type arm board, uh, which is going to be moved down following uh, intubation of the patient so that we can um, uh, place the arm in a nice planing position. We have a normal headrest on the table, which once the patient has received anesthesia, we will remove holding the patient's head and place the helmet device onto the table. Okay, we have removed the uh, normal headpiece and we place the uh, Allen helmet on the table. We have the planing arm board. We've also added the uh, post for the body strap that will go across her once we get her in the beach chair position. She is currently intubated and ready to go for surgery so we're going to hit the beach chair button on the table and start the process of beach chairing the table. It's going to Trendelenburg back up leg down. Trendelenburg back up leg down and it's going to get to a general seating position. You're one, going to want to go further as you go along here. Now we have to stop and just adjust the helmet because it's only one person. Normally in the operating room there'd be several people doing this including the surgeon. Okay. Um, we, we need this to ride up and down as she rides up into position. I am going to again hit the beach here button. Now to me, for me just personally, it's Trendelenburg, it's a little too much on the Trendelenburg. I'm going to reverse the Trendelenburg a little bit to get her shoulder up into a better position. I am going to then lower the leg plate down myself. I'm going to Trendelenburg her back a little more. Okay, back up again. All right, so far so good. I like what I see. All right, check her head one more time. Strap across the forehead, keeping the keeping the head nice and uh, tight into the helmet, never under the chin. We have, uh, we keep a good alignment on the spine. We've shifted her over slightly, keep the alignment on the spine, and we've got her, this is the operative side. We've got her ready to remove the shoulder plate and strap her in. We've got a planing arm board on the other side of the table so that it, it adjusts for her in the seating position. Um, little lever underneath the handle, lowers it down, removes the section. Body strap across the patient. And we've got her strapped in pretty good. We've got good mobility on the shoulder. Okay. Then we are going to unlock the table. Rotate, uh, depending on preference, rotate 90 degrees or 180 degrees away from anesthesia. Lines are thrown off and then we're going to lock the table back down. As 
standard shoulder setup. 